Hello. Welcome to the project deployment tutorial for EcoStructure Energy Hub. In this second chapter, Deployment of Energy Hub, we will see how to deploy an energy hub system from site to organization level. In this topic, Energy Hierarchy and Settings, we will learn how to create energy hierarchy of your organization and configure basic energy settings in EcoStructure Energy Hub. Before getting started, First, add the gateway and do the basic configurations in Energy Hub. Please watch the video on Energy Hub basic setup for more details. Next, make sure to subscribe and activate the Energy Code Compliance or Energy Analysis module or Advanced or Advanced Plus plans to enable the Energy View. Let's start. First, Go to Organization Settings and set the currency and other details as required. You can set the regional defaults or select as required. Go to System Setup. Click on the organization to access the information panel. To set the energy mode, edit. Based on this setting, Energy Hub determines which energy and power to utilize for its analysis and dashboards. Entire organization will have this default energy mode setting. Manually setting the energy mode for a region or site overrides the inherited setting. Click Configure Site and go to Energy View. As you can see, the energy usage type is automatically set for the devices as per the contextualization data set earlier in the panel server. If you have not set the energy usage type or need to change it, click Change Usage Type, search as per applicable standards or show most common and select the most appropriate usage type. Click OK. Click on the site in the configuration panel. In the info panel, you can see the details which you had set at the time of creation of the site. Edit. If you need to change, Floor area, location, electricity rate and rates for water and gas wherever applicable, need to be set. Electricity sellback rate need to be set if there is an on-site generation that is connected to a main incoming feeder at a building or site level. Bidirectional monitoring devices need to be used for incoming utility supply and on-site generation. Let's build the hierarchy of this site by adding the elements like buildings, floors, etc. as per the location of the energy consumed or generated. In this site, we are monitoring loads in one of the floors of the main building. This floor has two areas namely office area and lab area. First, let's add the building. Drag and drop the element to the site. Fill in the details of the building in the info panel. Floor area and location are required for getting correct data in energy dashboards. Now let's add a floor. Make sure to provide the floor area. Add the respective areas inside the floor and fill the details. Now, let's allocate the loads to the respective locations carefully. You can use the overview panel or these controls to pan, zoom and navigate the hierarchy.
the energy hierarchy is ready. Next, important setting is to create business hours schedule to enable energy analysis. Go to investigate. Energy view. You can see the energy hierarchy we created earlier. Select a site or locations within a site since you can create business hours schedules only for them. In the display panel, find the energy consumption by business hours display gadget. Configure business hours. Select the day of the week and click to add open hours. Provide the start time and duration. Repeat or duplicate for all the days. Any days or times that are not defined as open hours are considered to be closed hours. You can also define holiday seasons or any special time periods when your business is closed. Now all your energy gadgets, available as per the modules or subscriptions activated, are ready to use. Next, let's configure some alarms to stay informed or notified about any exceptional operating conditions in your facility. Energy Hub has mainly two types of alarms, namely, device-based alarms, which are configured outside of Energy Hub on the monitoring devices or on the communication gateways, and software alarms, which are configured in Energy Hub based on the modules or subscriptions activated. There are also various categories of alarms based on their functionality. For energy alerts, software alarms are available for energy, water, and gas consumptions, which falls into the category of energy management. For setting energy consumption alarm at site level, go to Investigate and Energy View. In the Navigation panel, click on the site. In the Information panel, click Alarm Settings. Add Alarm Rule. Select energy consumption. Click next. Please note, the alarm settings are as per active energy, irrespective of the energy mode you had selected earlier. Let's select interval. Daily. Priority medium. Provide the daily threshold when we need this alarm to be on. Give the rule a name. Toggle the switch to on or off to enable or disable the alarm. Finish. Similarly, you can set a monthly or yearly overconsumption alarm. Either you can provide separate monthly targets or provide a single yearly target. Provide the thresholds in percentage of target where you want to generate the alarms and set the priority. If you are providing the yearly target, it will be equally divided to monthly targets automatically. Go to home to see the sites and their performance against the set target. You can also see the alarms in Investigate, Asset View. Here, you click and see the details. Or acknowledge the same. Finally, let's see how to get these alarms as notifications. In Setup, Notification Settings, you can customize the settings based on alarm category and alarm priority to get email notification or mobile push notifications. Congratulations! You have finished the energy hierarchy and settings for your organization. Thanks for watching this video. Please watch the next videos in the project deployment series to easily deploy your EcoStructure Energy Hub system.